what's up guys welcome back to my channel as you can see it's already starting out great so i wrote all these questions down from instagram from you guys if you don't know me and you're new to my channel um, my name is sydney shear and i am a first year medical student at lake gary college of medicine i feel like i'm going in to do my patient encounter for those of you who are in school with me i feel like that was my introduction um, but I go to medical school at um, Lecom Bradenton in Florida. So I guess we'll just start with this first question. So I was born in Morgantown, West Virginia, but I actually grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with my mom. Um, and then later went to move with my dad in Morgantown. So I kind of grew up in both places. And I was always back and forth um, every other weekend with my parents and in the summertime with my dad. Okay. So if someone asked, and so before CrossFit, I started out as a competitive gymnast until I actually had a career ending injury. Um, I have in medical terms, it's called a um, bilateral pars interarticularis defect. And also I have spondylolisthesis. And pretty much that just means that I have a fracture in a certain area of my lumbar spine on both sides and because it did that on both sides it allows my vertebrae to basically slide um, and can pinch nerves give a lot of low back pain shoot pain down into my legs actually it happened at my friend's house and i just like bent down to tie my shoes and i was stuck in that position i was folded over and i was in an excruciating pain i couldn't get up and they were trying to stand me up but i was just shooting pain like down into my legs and into my feet um, I called my mom and they came and um, rushed me to the hospital. We didn't really know what was going on. And they gave me some morphine um, just for the pain. And they sat me up and I remember being in a wheelchair because I just like couldn't walk and I couldn't stand. I think at that point it was so bad that it was just compressing all my nerves. So pretty much the doctors and my parents told me like, this is it, um, you know, you need to stop. This is something that can just keep getting worse. It's a really common injury actually in gymnasts. I started getting into team sports and I moved to my dad's. I started um, basketball, volleyball, and lacrosse, but then I had another injury, um, my first ACL tear, and, and so I decided to just finish with um, volleyball and lacrosse, and I ended up getting a lacrosse scholarship in, to play um, at a really small division one school and college at St. Francis University. So shout out to them. So I decided to just try CrossFit. It's been almost a year now. And I just honestly went on a whim and I went by myself. I looked up some gyms in the area and I went to the closest one and just ended up staying there and I ended up loving it. Okay, that was kind of long. Okay, I got this question a lot. A cake donut, a big cake donut, not the mini, but a big one. And I would be dipped in peanut butter as my first topping, dip it in peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Then the, I would have them dip it in cinnamon sugar. And then I would give a maple glaze as well as a peanut butter glaze on top. Hot and fresh. Okay. Either handstand push-ups or toes to bar. And that just comes with my background as a gymnast, but I really enjoyed those movements. So I don't really follow a strict diet. I kind of eat whatever I want. However, I, for the most part, eat very clean, um, unless I'm binging on a donut um, or a lot of donuts. But typically in the day, um, I'll get my protein from eggs, uh, chicken. If I make ground turkey, I like to make a lot of turkey burgers. I eat a lot of chicken and I eat a lot of eggs. Vlogging is vlogging, but with a video. And P.S. I love you too to this person who asked this. Okay. My favorite workout is probably anything with a deadlift or a handstand push-up. Oh, this is my cousin. Uh, yes, we will enjoy the lake together this summer. Funny she brings that up. So in Morgantown, um, we have a lake house. My family has a lake house and it's probably five minutes from my house. 
So in the summers, we do everything on the lake. I mean, I'm out there all the time and my family loves to cook out and grill out there. And we, you know, take the boat out, we go wakeboarding, tubing. Um, we tie like a bunch of boats up on the weekend and it's like a bunch of friends and family and we basically just drink and have a good time. I will be back this summer in May, and to the person who asked me that, I will be coaching you again this summer. Respect. I am a huge person on mental, like having a healthy mind and body, so I'm really big on mental health. And I'm very passionate, like I, I believe in being passionate about everything that you do. Obviously, a lot of people on social media can say that, but if you don't put it into practice, it's really hard to believe that that's something that you hold really close to your heart. With that, the next question is... I feel like I didn't have that aha moment. I didn't have like a specific incident, but I really enjoyed the sciences as I think most people do and they just don't really know what they want to go to college for. They just pick something that they liked in high school. So I really liked um, biology, so I decided to major in biology pre-med. And then when you're on that track, I feel like you're kind of figuring out like, is this really what I want to do? But it's also really hard, you know, you don't really dig into those basic sciences and what it's going to take to go to medical school. I didn't really have like, you know, something that drove me to go to medical school other than myself. I wanted to do it. I told myself I was going to do it. And so then from there on out, I, I wasn't going to settle. To balance things, I just have to have a schedule. I have to write every single thing out in my planner, hour by hour, day by day. And then you just have to remember that, you know, if you're gonna be with your friends and you're gonna take that time to just sit and relax, you have to take the time and not feel bad about it and not stress that you should be doing something else. And then with fitness, squeezing a workout every day, and it's honestly something that I look forward to. It's something that I enjoy. So for me, it's not forced. It doesn't have to be something that I need to figure out how to balance with, but, um, as long as I get my workout in once a day and or taking an off day and still doing something like yoga, to me, that keeps me like mentally sane. One of my big ones was I really got into yoga. Actually, I started yoga in college. My team, we used to do team yoga and I just like fell in love with it. Well, I first took a yoga course in college with some of my friends and it was hilarious. Then my team started doing it. Our coach would like run us through yoga and it was so cool. And I just loved it. Like, I also love going to the movies and contrary to popular belief, I love going to the movies by myself. <laughs> Having so many knee surgeries and being in the position that I was in and the situation that I was in, it kind of also made me fall in love with everything in the medical field. And I really got an idea of what it was like, especially just being in the OR and then, you know, dealing with surgery and recovery and like having to deal with all the different people that are in the medical field, the PTs, the PAs, the nurses, the anesthesiologists, the physician, the surgeon, um, it just kind of solidified it for me. Family is huge for me. Honestly, the best word I have for it is identity because without them and without their support and without their critiques and without them raising me, I wouldn't be who I am today. I, everyone's family situation is different, but I'm extremely blessed that I have such a big family and also just the support that I have for my family. I mean, it's just unconditional. And my brothers, I don't have to talk to my brothers every single day, but my brothers are like my number one fans. My dad, my dad is also my best friend. You guys have seen my dad on my vlogs plenty of times. My dad was someone who was just huge into sports. So it's something we've been able to bond over. And you know, I think my mom was more the gymnastics and dancing um, aspect, but my mom came to everything. Like my family did not miss an event. Even in California, my dad flew out to California to watch my lacrosse games. Like, it's just crazy to me. I would not be who I am today without my family. I had ACL surgery. My 
sophomore year of high school, I had ACL surgery the first day of lacrosse practice my freshman year of college. And then I had surgery on both knees at the same time. Um, I had a scope on both knees at the same time. Um, my junior year of college, pretty much I had issues with my knees. From the time I tore my first ACL, I, I had problems all the way through college. And honestly, I did not go a day in college without taking ibuprofen and Tylenol, switching between the two. Um, I also didn't have a day where I wasn't in pain. But since I've stopped, and honestly, since I started CrossFit, I never have any pain. I think this is the last question. Oh no, I saved the best for last. When did I begin my fitness journey? Um, fitness journey, I think, really started last year when I started CrossFit because I've incorporated so many things for my mental and physical health since then. And so I think that constitutes when I started my fitness journey. So I would say last March. So my last question. And I'm not gonna say the name. And the answer is yes, I will. And, um, okay guys, so that's all the questions that I have from Instagram. If you guys want me to do another one and you have more questions to ask me, I'd be totally willing to do it. If you liked it, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys. And again, don't forget to hit subscribe and please spread the word. So I expect all my med school students to be watching this and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.